I'm Dorothy Flannery of the Florida Travel Expo. Wow, you're having a really big event here at the World Golf Village at the Renaissance Hotel. Today is November the 3rd. Uh, the event starts at noon. Right. And you guys are setting up now like ants, just building this incredible, all these rooms. There's so much stuff to bring mm -hmm. with you when you're selling travel because it's visual, it's tactile, um, and you, people, People want to be able to differentiate one product from another, and that was a big reason for putting this expo together. Is because you can't you can't see it online. Right. You need right. experts to bring it to you. So, so what would you call? What's the title of this exposition? It's the Florida Travel Expo. Okay, and if if you had, if people wanted to know, in a couple of sentences, what's the goal of this exposition? The goal is really to bring all the different, the, the variety of different travel options in the market to the consumers of North Florida. Because um, unless a company advertises on TV or does a lot of newspaper advertising or internet advertising, people don't know about them. For example, if I, if I were to ask you, name a river cruise for me, you would probably, you would probably say Viking River Cruises. Um, that's the answer almost everybody comes up with okay. because they advertised on Downton Abbey. Right. And so people will call me and say, you know, I want to go on a Viking River Cruise. Oh, you let and me I, I, they're a very good product, but there are 25 other River Cruise wow. products out there wow. as well. Mm -hmm. And nobody is ever calling me and saying, I'd like to go on a scenic river cruise, or I'd like to go on a Uniworld river cruise, or I'd like to go on an Emerald's Waterways cruise, or an Avalon river cruise. Wow. There's so, there's, there's so See, much myself, out there. I myself, who's always watching media, didn't know anything about, I know Viking, but yeah. I didn't know any of the others. And, and they all have a different flavor. They've all got something, uh, their, their products differentiate just like cars differentiate. Mm -hmm. You know, a Ford is not a Nissan. Right. And they're a, Different products fit different clients right, better. Right. Um, not not everybody is an ideal Viking River Cruises passenger. <laughs> they they might be better right, on right. Ammo Waterways mm -hmm. or on Avalon mm -hmm. Waterways yeah. or Scenic Cruises. So I I felt that in this area there just there just isn't there wasn't one great big all encompassing travel expo and there are huge travel expos in other cities in the country the new york times travel expo gets thirty thousand people a year oh my Lord. through its doors mm. um it's been around for a long time i remember my parents taking me to it when we were little and lived in new york um and it was it was sort of magical because you you know, all these foreign places and and it, it's like a little taste of each country mm -hmm. um at the new york times travel expo and they have big, huge travel expos in, in Boston and in uh, Chicago and in DC and in Los Angeles. And I kept thinking, why don't we have one in Florida? Right. Why? Right. Um, and, and yet we didn't. And it's one and, of the biggest tourist states in the Union. Well, and, but it's, I think what happened is that um, Florida was a place that people went to Okay. Not that people toured from. All right, so I got gotcha. you. Maybe you know when these shows were beginning 40 or 50 years ago, that that's why there wasn't one in Florida because Florida was a destination spot. Right. It wasn't a place that people lived year-round and went on tours to Europe or to Asia or to South America okay. or Canada. But now they do. Florida is now a year-round state. Right. Um, it's not just a vacation getaway and so the people attending this this expo 
are basically who? Your average person who comes one of this, is he in the industry or is he a person looking for, for a vacation somewhere? Somebody who's interested in going on uh, a vacation. Oh, wow. It, uh, you know, we targeted, um, you know, in, in the very first year, of course, we were limited with funding and how much advertising and, right. and broadcasting we could do. But we, you know, we targeted a segment of uh, a demographic segment of people who um, have the time, have the disposable income, and have the desire to travel. Okay. Um, you know, people who are known international right. travelers. But even if they're, even if they do know international travel, that doesn't mean that they know. You know they may know one company like Trafalgar right. to take a vacation with. Right. But they don't know Globus and Cosmos and Brendan Vacations and there's so many. Okay. You know, and, 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 and different companies have a different twist on travel. What if you wanted to do um, a family vacation? Say you wanted to go to Europe with kids. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what, I mean, kids get tired in museums and stuff like that. What is there out there that you could book where there'd be something for both the adults and the children. How, you can research that on the internet until your eyes cross. Yes, it's so lacking. You have to go to so many places and you get so many contradictions on what they say that at the end you feel just as lost as when you started your search. Exactly, so this was, this I, the idea of the expo is to bring the product to the consumers. Okay. So that, um, you know, they can, they can talk to the experts, they can talk to the people who work for the companies and get a flavor of what the vacation that they offer is going to be like and, and find out from the source, not from some anonymous website, what they're buying. All right. Um, give them better information. Bring it bring it to the customers instead of having the customers it's going a, out and looking for it. It's a smorgasbord of, uh, of travel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and so let me ask you this question. So, the, the the event is today, all day today, Sunday. It's noon to five. Right, noon to five, uh, to be specific. Yes. And um, when it's over, what do you help? What do you hope the people leave here with? I hope they leave here with a better understanding of all the, of the huge variety of travel options out there. Whether they want to go to Asia, to Iceland or South America, whether they want, you know, a cruise, a cultural immersion, a hiking and biking trip, wow. a ski vacation. That there is something Sounds here awesome. for every for every want. And and even, you know, there's something here that will that will make them think of, oh I didn't know I could do that. You know? Wow, that's a thought. It never occurred to me. Uh -huh. You know, so that yeah, Stimulate I want to open them. people's eyes Work with to the world of travel. Uh -huh. Yeah, this, this you can actually do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I saw also there's a modeling element to this. We're having um, three fashion shows, okay. and they're going to be. Um, one of them is with um, Donna Rain fashions. Another one is with Apropos Boutique in Ponte Vedra Beach. And then there's one with Cato Fashions in St. Augustine Beach. We wanted to use local designers and local boutiques. Right. And they're focusing on resort wear because it's a it's a leisure travel show. Um, so it brings a little more excitement, a little a little more flavor to the show. Well I want to thank you for these minutes and I know you're busy and um, <laughs> I think this is awesome. I think this Thanks. is awesome, and it's um, it, it's about time. It's about time. It couldn't have been done without an amazing team of volunteers. Mm -hmm. It just it we wouldn't be sitting here today. Uh, they made it happen, and, and it's really exciting. Uh, the proof will be in the next few weeks, and and you know yeah, what people take back from it. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Heather Bell. I'm with 31 Guests. This is my daughter, Shaylin Bell. 
I am so excited to be here because we have cute bags for all of your travel needs. We are fully personalized. Okay. So you can personalize all of our bags with your monogram or something fun. And then the other thing that we have that's fun and different is we have the way that you can create your memories for your cruises or your travel for a lifetime from our home decor. Kathy Maddox and I am the owner of Apropos Boutique. We are located in Ponte Vedra Beach in Sawgrass Village. Mm -hmm. Apropos can dress a woman for absolutely any occasion, mm -hmm. be it a cocktail event or traveling or going to the beach. Mm -hmm. Hold on girl, now wait just a minute. I've got something to say, you should hear it. To make time for your feelings But you have to admit I already do Let's just break it down To you and me uptown Dancing all around Till the disco ball pops But I have to be me And everyone can see Your anger is misplaced And I'm gonna tell you Don't hate me cause I get don't turn me into what I'm not I have to be me 24-7 And I ain't never gonna stop No, 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 no No, 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 no Oh, no, no, no No, 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 no And I ain't never gonna stop Donna Rain Enterprise. I specialize in custom designs, travel wear, resort wear, bathing suits, big palazzo pants, avant grand, grand gowns, and then I also style. I do editorial styling as well as personal styling. Okay. Come on. Listen to me. I've tried so many times to tell you I can be Why isn't it enough To be faithful And also be the hit Of the party Let's just break it down To you and me uptown Dancing all around Till the disco ball pops But I have to be me And everyone can see Your anger is misplaced And I'm gonna tell you Um, we are for every woman. 
We have a little bit of business casual. <clears throat> we have active wear, so people who want to wear yoga outfits or just go out walking. We have a lingerie line for bras and panties. We also have um, dressier fashions, like if you're going on a cruise. 